everyone and welcome to 60 Second Seabird Science. My name is Grant. The renewable energy industry is exploding all over the world. In the UK, this is focused mostly on the offshore wind sector. However, if you go to places like the Pentland Firth in the north of Scotland, you'll find that tidal energy is being actively pursued. This paper published in the Journal of Marine Science and Engineering has a look at the overlap between European shag and marine tidal turbine sites. The authors take it a step further by generating a reproducible workflow in the R programming language, which can be used for future assessments. The lead author, Natalie Isaacson, is here with us today to tell us all about their work. Hey everyone, I'm Natalie. I'm a PhD researcher at the University of the Highlands and Islands, and I'm here today to give you a heads up about my latest paper that's about using animal-borne tracking data to measure overlap with marine renewables. So the growth of the marine renewable energy sector makes it more important than ever to take potential effects on marine wildlife, such as seabirds, into account. Luckily, data from tags such as GPS and time of depth recorders gives us high-res info on the individual species. However, processing and analyses of birdborne tracking data can be a bit of a minefield. So what we present in this paper is an analysis workflow to go from raw points to high potential for interaction with marine renewables polygons. We applied the workflow to some European shags in relation to tidal stream energy development areas in the Pentland for Scotland, and we found high occurrence of shags in the overall area slated for development, but virtually none with the smaller tidal lease sites within. The paper is open access and out now at Journal of Marine Science and Engineering with our code. Shout out to my co-authors, the RSPB, the Bryan Center, loads of volunteers, anonymous reviewers, and thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe. You can find us on TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget to follow along with Seabird Sessions, our live Seabird Science discussion group.